Hello, my name is Melody and I'm a teacher with VIP Kid. In my previous videos, I showed how to make your intro video and also how to use playlists in Minicam. Today we're going to be talking about sound, how to make the sound work in videos that you play through Minicam. If you're just getting started with Minicam, I suggest that you go to Teacher Ellie's YouTube videos. I will put the uh, channel link in my comments below. Uh, but Teacher Ellie's YouTube videos are a great place to start to figure out how to use Minicam. The next step would be using playlists, which is a little bit more of an advanced feature, uh, and then messing with the sound in videos. So let me show you what we'll discuss today. We're going to talk about our Minicam settings, and then how to fix it in the classroom settings, and how to play the video. But first, a disclaimer. I am not an expert in Minicam. I don't get paid by Minicam or VIP Kid to make these videos. I'm just doing it to help the teacher community. There's such a strong uh, Facebook teacher community on there that helps each other out. So that is why I make these videos. Uh, what works for me may not work for you. There are very different versions of Minicam, both uh, Windows and Mac and then different versions like 5.7, 5.4. So I find that the features don't appear the same. Uh, also, if you have the free version or the standard or studio or enterprise, it just may make it look different. So I currently use a Windows 10 and Minicam Studio 5.7.2. Hopefully this video will help and it will look the same as you do. Uh, so let's get started. The first part is loading our video to check to see if the sound works because maybe your sound already works and there's nothing you need to do. Um, if that's the case, we're going to go ahead and load our video. For me, I'm going to load a playlist. So I will click on playlist and then the first button, load playlist. So you'll see here, uh, this is the screen. Once I loaded my playlist, it will show the different parts. And let me show you that one more time. I'll go to load my playlist. It will let me open up a file. I made one called sample video ABC, and then that will make this appear. Uh, and again, go to my first video to show how to make these playlists. The reason why we use the playlist is, is because it just makes it go more seamlessly. If you just open up the file directly into this screen, for example, I could right click here and I can just go straight to media file. If I do that and I open the video, it will just run once and it'll run immediately as soon as I click it. But if I make it into a playlist, it will give me time to decide when I want to click on, here's the introduction slide and here's the actual video. It could also pause, then if I want to play the video again, I can easily do that. Um, people have also asked about YouTube videos, and yes, you can play YouTube videos through Minicam as well. You would click here on um, Playlist, and actually, sorry, instead of clicking on Playlist, you would right click and you would see the extra menu, and then you could click on YouTube URL. And then that would pop up and you would be able to type your YouTube or URL in and it would pop up. For me, it does not work very well. I think it might be the internet connection, but you can copy and paste the YouTube URLs. I don't use YouTube videos that often, partly because it's not always reliable, doesn't always work for me, and also because I'm not sure if VIP Kid would really want us to show a lot of YouTube videos. They have made a specific curriculum and I like to stay true to their curriculum but I do add a few things such as showing the video that is very appropriate because it is actually the video that they created with their VIP kid songs um, but again if you want to load YouTube URLs that's how you would do that so we'll go back to loading the video and if you already have your video and then you go ahead and play it as you can see, I am not a very good singer. To see if it works, you would just log in to your portal. So those that are already VIP Kid teachers, you understand, you would log into your portal, and then you would look in the corner, uh, you go into a class that you've 
are about to have in the next 24 hours. And then you would see, if the volume goes up and down, then you're golden. Your song works. There's nothing else you need to do. You don't need this video. If you look in the corner and the line isn't moving, then you have a problem. The sound is not coming through through Minicam. So this is what you need to do next. We need to uh, review our classroom settings in Minicam. So what we'll do is we'll go to Minicam. You'll click on your first step here. You'll go to down to settings. And then you'll click down to audio. And in audio, you'll see it says, listen to the sound from your microphones. I keep that unchecked. That just works for me. Then the next thing is, is you'll go ahead and click back and you'll go and add a microphone by clicking on audio. You'll click on audio, you'll add a microphone, you'll use the microphone you know, which might be your headset, in my case it's the microphone Realtek Audio. So I'll show that to you again. You'll see I click on audio, here is my microphone. You'll see the sound is moving because I'm talking, which is a good thing, and I put my settings usually in the middle so it's not too loud when it first opens up. Uh, so that is our settings in Minicam. We've already covered that portion, and now we can go on to the classroom settings. So again, we went into Minicam, we checked our settings, we checked that we added a microphone, and now we can go into our VIP Kid classroom, and we'll go, we'll pick a class that is in the next 24 hours, because that way we can go into the settings, and we will go ahead and see that we're on the microphone tab and go down to the first toggle box and you'll see your different options and what we want to do is, is we want to choose Minicam virtual microphone that is the one that we want so sound will come through Minicam so instead you usually have I use the Realtek audio normally I'm going to switch it to the Minicam but, important note, important disclaimer, if you use this Minicam, your voice may not come through. I find sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't, which means that when you switch to Minicam, you may only be able, the student may only be able to hear the video sound. They may not be able to hear you. You can, once you get in the classroom, you can kind of tell whether or not they can hear you or not. But just keep that in mind. I haven't found it's been completely consistent um, and you might be able to fix your settings. But just beware that it may be possible that the student is not hearing you. They're only hearing the video. So just keep that in mind. So we'll go back here to this setting and I'll show you the volume. This is very important that you look at the volume because I find that sometimes I move the volume all the way down just so that the student doesn't hear me when I'm preparing the lessons. And then when I'm checking to see if the video doesn't work, I'm panicked because oh, the sound is not showing. But the sound is not showing because I don't have the volume on. So be sure you put the volume in kind of a middle setting so that the student can actually hear you and that you're not panicked that it's not working. Then you'll go down here and you'll click Done. And let me show you that again. We'll click on Settings. We'll click on the communications and we'll be able to click on settings and we'll do done. Voila, that is great. We've went ahead and gone to through another portion of chatting the classroom settings. So if that is the portion we have completed, we can now load the video in Minicam, which is what we did earlier. We went ahead and we uh, clicked on it and we loaded the playlist. If it go ahead and works, as we, the Minicam should be, you should and ideally be able to see the sound moving. Hurrah! If that's the case, then... so that is kind of the summary. It's a lot of information. You might have to uh, watch this video a couple times, but here is just the highlights again. You're going to load the video into Minicam. You're going to go ahead and go into the VIP Kid Classroom and say, does it work? 
If it does, you're done. Um, if it's not, then you'll go to the next part. You'll, you'll review your mini cam settings, as I showed you. You'll go into your VIP Kid Classroom. You will change the sound microphone so that it is coming from the virtual mini cam. And then you will play the video, and if it is uh, showing in the little sound, then you are done. Keep in mind that as soon as the video is over, you will want to go back to classroom settings and change the microphone back to your headset or your regular microphone because that is the only way for it to work um, so that they can hear you again. So you'll want to keep switching back and forth. I hope this video was helpful for you and that you have a great day. Bye.